What's up YouTube, it's JB Tech Fanatic and I'm back again with another video. As always, I wanna start this video by thanking each and every one of you for joining me. If you have not yet subscribed, I'd be honored if you'd consider doing so. And if you like this video, don't forget to click that thumbs up. And if you wanna know when the latest videos are available, please hit that notification icon. Today, we're back with Bose. If you've watched my channel, you know that I've covered the SoundTouch 300 in its entirety and also the Bose 700 in its entirety, including the accessories that go along with it. But what about the house that doesn't necessarily want surround sound? Maybe you just need something better than the TV that you own offers. And specifically, maybe you need to be able to hear dialogue better. This is a product, the Bose Solo 5, that I've been intrigued about for a while. There's a several reasons for that, and really the main is, is one, how come it keeps getting such high ratings? It seems no matter what website I go to, it's almost five stars, four and a half stars. People seem to love this device. Then it got me thinking. People live in maybe an apartment or maybe you're a student and you live in a dorm or maybe you just want dialogue. There's so many different reasons why something like this might be right for you and maybe the Bose 700 or the SoundTouch 300 would not be right for you because maybe it puts out too much sound. So today I'm gonna quickly unbox this. I'm gonna show you how to set it up. We're gonna do some sound test and I'm gonna let you know what I think about this product that I read such high reviews about. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's get started. Quick unboxing of the Bose Solo 5. Just wanted to show you the back of the box. It states clear sound and dialogue at all levels. One connection to your TV. Dialogue mode makes every word even easier to hear. Place in front of your TV or mount on the wall. And then of course you can wirelessly stream from any Bluetooth device. Be aware it is only Bluetooth, no Wi-Fi. Uh, easy tab, just cut that off on the back. All right, tab cut. Now we're gonna open it up. All right, so presentation's pretty basic. We got the start here book right on top. Well packaged, safely packaged. That's always good to see. And let's put this out here. All right, so we get the power cable. We get an optical cable. We get a large, nice Bose um, universal remote, so that's kind of a plus. And then of course the power outlet and they include batteries in the box. All right, so we got everything laid out. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out of the package. First thing I notice out of the package, of course, is that it's very light. It's much smaller than the 700 or the 500 or the Bose SoundTouch 300 but you can see through the grate here or the grill, we have two speakers. They're kind of veered off left and right. Then we have the auxiliary, the optical, the coaxial and the power, and then a little USB for service. You can see that we have one base chamber there. We have some ventilation here. Then if we look closely, and I'm just trying to get the camera to pick this up, you can kind of see everything that's going on behind the grill. And if you notice, right here on the side, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's definitely uh, a chamber inside of there that the sound and air can pass through. This is how Bose continuously, at least for me, really impresses me on getting amazing sound out of a small package. So, so far, well built. It looks like we have some stuff to work with. Let's set this up and see if we can maximize our experience. All right, so let's get started with connecting. First, put the batteries in the remote, and then you're gonna go ahead and put the power cable in, and then in this case, we're gonna do the optical connection, and then we'll do Bluetooth connection. Once that's plugged in here, be sure to plug the optical connection into your TV, whatever that is. This, of course, has the one connect box, as it's the Samsung QLED, and so once that's complete, go ahead and power everything on and let's get our control in hand and get started. All right, so we have our remote, everything's plugged in. I wanna take just a minute to talk about setup as far as environment goes. Now, with this product, you do not get the Adapt IQ. 
However, there is some bass out of this product and there is some tips and tricks to get Bose sound bars really of any type to sound better. Now, again, if you have a Sound Touch 300 or a Bose 700, definitely check out my videos on those. I go through full setup and environment setup also. But in this case, we have a very small bar to work with. Now, what you want to do is you want to utilize the environment if you're trying to maximize sound. So let's just say you're on a budget and you just want to get a small sound bar, but you want to get a little bass out of it and better sound. So really the idea here is to make sure that you have walls or maybe casing to let the environment sort of bounce that sound and give you a fuller sound. So my exact thoughts are a wall on the left and right side within 10 feet, or if you have an enclosure in your entertainment center, go ahead and put it in there. And then allow, of course, on the back, we have that bass chamber that lets the air out. Allow their room for the bass to kind of bounce off the back wall so you don't want to go more than one foot away from the back surface, whatever that is. And in this case, like, this is not how I'm going to keep it. I'm just doing it for the video. I've actually now tried this bar throughout my whole house in different environments to give you guys my honest feedback. But in this case, you would want a open surface wall. So if it's underneath your TV, remember this is not a very big product. So put it there, open surface to the back wall, open to the left and right. You know, don't put things right next to it if you're gonna have it out in the open like this. And then if you're gonna use an enclosed casing, be sure not to put a bunch of stuff around it. Let it actually ricochet off and give you a fuller sound. The next thing is, is we have the remote control. Now, obviously, you know, for getting such a small sound bar, this is a very nice remote control. So you want to go ahead and you want to connect this to your TV. You want to do this in order to keep this from having sync issues and to keep the sound together. For whatever reason, I found that if you do not do this with the remote, whether you plan on using it or not, it just didn't give me as good as experience. So what you want to know here is the code. Now they give you a book with all the codes in it. This is the Samsung QLED. So we're looking at 00060. So three zeros, a six and a zero. That is the Samsung code. So now that you know that code, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to program your remote. All right, time to program the remote. So in this case, we are going to program the TV. Let me get this close. You're just going to hold down the TV button until all six light up green. Then type in 00060 and then you're going to press the plus up. As you can see, the TV button turned green when I did that. So now we know that it's working. So now to check the TV, go ahead and press menu and that should pop up the menu on your TV. And it's that simple. So now anytime I hit any of these buttons, it will control my TV. So now let's move on to the next step. All right, so again, this is a very simple system. You can turn on dialogue mode or increase the bass. If you see when I press bass here, you can adjust the bass or you could press dialogue mode. Dialogue mode is on green. And if I hit it again, it shuts it off. So it's really simple to use. And other than that, you then have the Bluetooth feature. Now, connecting anything to Bluetooth is very simple. You just wanna put it in discovery mode and then press Bluetooth on this controller. And as you can see, it is now ready to accept Bluetooth. Now remember on your TV, you can actually connect that to Bluetooth. Let's do that now. All right, so we are in Bluetooth mode, again, we pressed it on the remote. We are now gonna go to settings and we're gonna go to sound. And then we are going to go to sound output. And as you can see, you can choose your different formats here. But what we are looking for right now is the Bluetooth speaker list. As soon as I click that, it's going to look for now the Bose bar here. So if you just give it a second, As you can see on the bottom of the list, we have the Bose Solo 5 system. Sorry, I keep saying that wrong. It says it needs pairing. Hit pair and connect. 
and it's that simple. So now we are listening to our TV, so whatever's coming out of the TV, whether it be a video game or a movie, it's coming out through Bluetooth. So we're gonna do two things very quickly. First, we are now officially on Bluetooth, so we're gonna see what it sounds like. I'm gonna use my YouTube video, and I'm only gonna do this one because we're kind of trying to hear if you know dialogue or voice is really prevalent and you can hear it crystal clear and then i'll switch it over to optical and we'll see if we can hear any difference now as you can see so you know if it is coming out these little blue icons there tell you that we have sound so now let's go ahead and start the video and see what it sounds like Deal. As always, I want to start this video by thanking each and every one of you for joining me today. I'd be absolutely honored if you consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and click the notification icon so you know when the latest content is available. Basically, we have the Alienware Pro Gaming Keyboard. This is model AW768. It's an RGB LED keyboard. Okay, so I'm very impressed with the sound. I'm actually stunned on how room filling this little bar actually is. I don't know if you can hear it through my microphone, but that scene there did have quite a bit of music in the background, yet it still pulled the dialogue front and forward and it sounded amazing. Now, one other thing I wanna show you really quickly before we listen to the optical and that's the expert settings. A lot of people are gonna get confused because this is not a surround sound, I'm sorry, a surround system. So you're not looking for, you know, Dolby Atmos or anything crazy. We're just looking for basic stereo sound. So if you click on the expert settings, really the only thing you wanna do here is keep this set on um, PCM and you can see that on the digital output audio and then make sure that the audio delay is zero. This can cause a lot of problems, especially when you are running Bluetooth and if you are noticing their lips moving and it's not in sync, it's because of the audio delay. Definitely make sure to put that to zero. And now let's listen to optical connection. Back to the optical menu. We're going to switch to optical. You can now see the little blue swigglies going. Let's hear it two RGB keyboards. This will be the first one that I'm using and trying. So I figured we'll do a quick unboxing. We'll check it out hooked up and we'll look at the software together. I'm so thankful that you're here today. Let's jump in. All right. So it sounds great. Um, honestly, I can't hear a difference. Therefore, if you want to connect this through Bluetooth, I encourage you to do so. You're still going to get great full sound and you don't have to connect a wire to the back of your TV. So now let's see what maybe some music sounds like, and we'll do that through connect a Bluetooth phone. And then one last thing we'll do is I'll try to find a good action scene to see what kind of sound this can put out. All right, I'm just gonna play a very quick clip of Scarface just to see what this thing can sound like. Again, I can't show it to you or they'll just pull down my video, but here it goes. So lastly, let's just do some quick music and see if this thing can fill the room with a little bit of bass coming out of it. I have to say, overall, I am so impressed with this little sound bar. This is definitely worth your money, especially if you just need a starter sound bar. I mean, I cannot believe the sound that this little thing puts out. Let's do some music. All right, let's check the music. Now, this is extremely important to a lot of people, and this might be the most impressive part about this soundbar. Now again, YouTube is very, very strict on music, so I had to find some awful song, sorry. It's just a royalty-free music, uh, Slow Hip Hop Group by Joe Baker. So go ahead, you just connect through Bluetooth very simply. You hit the Bluetooth button on the remote, then turn on Bluetooth scan from any device. Once it's connected, just go ahead and hit play, and here we go. I have 
have to say, for the small form factor, this is actually a spectacular piece that Bose has created. I definitely can see why it has continued to get great reviews from customers. The fact that this little speaker puts out so much bass, or at least what sounds like bass, it's very crystal clear and it's definitely room feeling. I, you just can't beat it. For $100 to $200, this might even be something that you would think about as a Bluetooth speaker. I mean, it is very light in form factor, so you can move it around really easily. And again, if you have Samsung devices that have du dual Bluetooth, maybe you can run two devices at once. But overall, from dialog being the highlight of this bar to having actually superb sound for the price and the sound for movies, and now able to listen to music and actually be able to enjoy music, this product is a win in my book and I highly recommend it. Again, do me a favor. It's so easy to listen to people bash products, but it is you and your hard-earned money. So don't let me persuade you, don't let someone else persuade you from enjoying something. Go have a listen for yourself. If you, you're interested in it, but you're afraid that it won't sound good, pick it up at a place that has a good refund policy. But at the end of the day, from my ears, I highly recommend this product and I believe that you would enjoy it. Okay, well, that pretty much wraps up the Bose Solo 5. In my honest opinion, this is definitely worth the $199 price tag. This will really work for anyone that just wants to get better dialogue, they live in a small space, or they just aren't looking to spend top dollar on a surround system, but they definitely want something a little better quality than like a $50, $60 soundbar, this is definitely a product that I'd recommend. Also keep in mind that I have noticed on and off again, they are selling refurbished from the Bow store for only a hundred bucks. You really cannot beat that. I wanna th say thank you one last time for joining me and invite you to subscribe, but I also always want to be sure that we take the time and we talk about that life is so short. You know, the world is a sick and twisted place and the only people that can change it is you and I. Go out today and do something kind for someone. Do just the smallest kind gesture. It goes such a long ways, whether it be helping someone load their car or helping someone in need. The world needs people like us to make a change and you and I, we can do that together. I wanna to say one last time that I do YouTube for you and you only. I am not a sponsored channel. Everything I say is from the heart and I honestly mean it. But I also do this to help people. If you have questions, genuine questions, and you need help and I did not cover it in this video, please reach out to me in the comment section. I answer every single person that asks a legitimate question. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at JB Tech Fanatic. I'm here for you guys, and I want to say thank you one last time, and I can't wait to talk to you in the comment section and see you in the next video. And until then, I'm JB Tech Fanatic, and I'm out. Peace.